All right, welcome back. Here we are for leg number two of our two-part Florida Keys trip with uh, Bush Talk Radio. So appreciate you tuning in for our Florida Keys Bush leg here, and we're gonna take off where we left off over at Marathon and fly down to all the way down to the tip of Key West. So hope you enjoyed the first one. If you watched it, if you haven't go back and see it. it um, that one was pretty fun to do. We're going to kind of do the same thing here. Hopefully we'll adjust the time. I'm not too, too far from the keys, so <clears throat> weather may be a little cloudy. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and adjust for sunset. Yeah, it is a little cloudy. So maybe we won't do live weather. We'll do, where are the clouds? I don't think I ever done anything but live weather. Clear skies, let's do scattered clouds. All right, how long is our trip here? 40 nautical miles, so not too bad. Adjust the weather during the flight, mother nature. So I just got a Thanks. So yeah, I've never adjusted the fl uh, <laughs> the uh, clouds. I've always done real wet, real time weather. Uh, we'll leave it out. A little bit more here. There you go. That might be good. It's a short flight. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and oh, we're taking off on the wrong side. So let's go ahead and adjust our heading here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or we could probably do like a thousand feet. 
Let's go ahead and start with 984. All right, let's get some tactical stuff out of the way here. We're going to turn on, we don't need taxi lights. We're already on the runway. We'll turn on our P-TOT heat. And we can make sure that we are connected to Bush Talk Radio. I always put that last one on there and it's not it. So we are now connected there. All right, so here we are. We are in the painted 172, Cessna 172. And we're gonna take off from Marathon here and head down to Key West. So I've actually never landed down in the tip of Key West. It's a uh, airport is K E Y W. So Key W. So we'll go ahead, hop in here, adjust our thing we jig there. We're gonna push our throttle in, take off the brake, and we are gonna fly take off. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we are connected. To bush talk which we are and I'm not looking at the screen there we go let's get back on the runway shall we multitasking did not pay off there <laughs> but no harm no foul all right we are at 90 knots we can take off anytime but we're gonna head down to the bottom of that runway We got a bunch of bush talk radio stuff to go over so that one replayed from the last time I think that one ended as we were landing over in marathon so we got a little replay from the end of the last flight Let's see what we got going on. So to our left, we got Major General Wallace F. Randolph. Use Major General Wallace F. Randolph, sometimes also known as N.G. Wallace F. Randolph, was a 188.2 foot wide planter built by the Marietta Manufacturing Company and delivered to the United States Army Mine Planter Service in 1942. The ship was transferred to the U.S. Navy in 1951, placed directly into the Atlantic Reserve Fleet without being commissioned classed as the Auxiliary Menelaer ACM-50, then reclassified Menelaer, Auxiliary and named MMA-50, and finally given the name Norset without any active naval service. After being stricken from the Naval Vessel Register, the ship was transferred to different owners and eventually was scuffled off the coast of Florida as an artificial reef and fish aggregating device. The site is currently known as the Thunderbolt Wreck and is considered to be an excellent and challenging dive site for advanced divers. Alright, and this one that's coming up 
this whole bridge here it's called the seven mile bridge that's going to play in just a moment just after the bridge we're going to have the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary so that one's two minutes long so we're going to go ahead and get that going that's that little marker right there the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary is a U.S. National Marine Sanctuary in the Florida Keys it includes the Florida Reef the only barrier coral reef in North America and the third largest coral barrier reef in the world. It also has extensive mangrove forest and seagrass fields. The Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, designated in 1990, is the ninth national marine sanctuary to be established in a system that comprises 13 sanctuaries and two marine national monuments. The Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary protects approximately 2,900 square nautical miles of coastal and ocean waters from the estuarine waters of South Florida along the Florida Keys Archipelago, encompassing more than 1,700 islands out to the Dry Tortugas National Park, reaching into the Atlantic Ocean, Florida Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. The mission of the sanctuary is to protect the marine resources of the Florida Keys while facilitating human uses that are consistent with the primary objective of resource protection. Sanctuary waters and habitats support high species diversity due to the presence of both tropical and subtropical species, including the largest documented contiguous seagrass community in the northern hemisphere and extensive coral reef habitat. The sanctuary is also home to maritime heritage resources that encompass a broad historical period. All right, so apparently after a little mic issue, we got that thing going. And that next one right here is that bridge right there. The Bayer Honda Rail Bridge is a derelict railroad bridge in the lower Florida Keys connecting Bayer Honda Key with Spanish Harbor Key. Originally part of the Overseas Railway, the state of Florida purchased it from the Florida East Coast Railway after the 1935 Labor Day hurricane and converted it for automobile use as part of the Overseas Highway in 1938. After a replacement by a Honda bridge was opened in 1972, two spans of the old bridge were removed for the safety of boat traffic and to prevent pedestrian access to unsafe parts of the bridge. And then this other bridge, so many bridges here. No, that's seven mile. That's that. All right, yeah, no, we already did that one. So that was the bridge that was right there. Let's see what we got going on here. Off into the ocean. Yeah, there's the Baja Honda Rail, Rail, Rail Bridge. We got FD-51 coming up. Let 
We got an Air Force station. A general little history about the Florida Keys. We can play that one now while we got the time. The Florida Keys are a coral cay archipelago located off the southern coast of Florida, forming the southernmost part of the continental United States. They begin at the southeastern coast of the Florida Peninsula, about 15 miles south of Miami, and extend in a gentle arc south southwest and then westward to Key West, the westernmost of the inhabited islands, and on to the uninhabited Dry Tortugas. The islands lie along the Florida Straits, dividing the Atlantic Ocean to the east from the Gulf of Mexico to the northwest, and defining one edge of Florida Bay. At the nearest point, the southern part of Key West is just 90 miles from Cuba. The Florida Keys are between about 24.3 and 25.5 degrees north latitude. More than 95% of the land area lies in Monroe County, but a small portion extends northeast into Miami-Dade County, such as Totten Key. The total land area is 137.3 square miles. As of the 2010 census, the population was 73,090 with an average density of 532.34 per square mile, although much of the population is concentrated in a few areas of much higher density such as the city of Key West, which has 32% of the entire population of the Keys. The U.S. Census population estimate for 2014 is 77,136. The city of Key West is the county seat of Monroe County. The county consists of a section on the mainland, which is almost entirely in Everglades National Park, and the Keys Islands from Key Largo to the Dry Tortugas. And I think that might be the airport up there. Off to our left. Just beyond those islands. There is a coral reef. New Key is a coral reef located within the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. It lies to the south of Big Pine Key. This reef is within a sanctuary preservation area. Part of New Key is designated as research only, an area which protects some of the patch reefs landward of the main reef. The reef is named after HMS Lou, which ran aground on the reef and sank in 1744. In August 1994, RV Columbus Islip, a research vessel owned by the University of Miami, ran aground on New Key and damaged approximately 164 square meters of living coral and a larger area of reef framework. In 1997, the university paid $3.76 million in natural resource damage claims to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. In 1999, a restoration project involving placement of limestone boulders, pouring of concrete, and reintroduction of benthic species was undertaken by NOAA and its subcontractors. Alright, so we are actually almost there. This one is going to be a quick one. We got um, 19 nautical miles to go, about 6 minutes to uh, our destination. So. Let's see what else we can play on Neofly that we have coming up. See if we can find something on the keys. The Florida Keys are a coral cay archipelago located off the southern coast of Florida, forming the southernmost part of the continental United States. They begin at the southeastern coast of the Florida Peninsula about 15 miles south of Miami, and extend in a gentle arc south-southwest and then westward to Key West, the westernmost of the inhabited islands, and on to the uninhabited Dry Tortugas. The islands lie along the Florida Straits, dividing the Atlantic Ocean to the east from the Gulf of Mexico to the northwest, and defining one edge of Florida Bay. At the nearest point, the southern part of Key West is just 90 miles from Cuba. The Florida Keys are between about 24.3 and 25.5 degrees north latitude. More than 95% of the land area lies in Monroe County, but a small portion extends northeast into Miami-Dade County, such as Totten Key. The total land area is 137.3 square miles. 
As of the 2010 census, the population was 73,090 with an average density of 532.34 per square mile, although much of the population is concentrated in a few areas of much higher density, such as the city of Key West, which has 32% of the entire population of the Keys. The U.S. Census population estimate for 2014 is 77,136. The city of Key West is the county seat of Monroe County. The county consists of a section on the mainland which is almost entirely in Everglades National Park and the Keys Islands from Key Largo to the Dry Tortugas. All right, so I think our runway is not this one, but the second one. That is like the last runway in the Florida Keys. So we're going to get prepared for landing here. We got the Key West Golf Club. We're going to be seeing that just off to the right of our destination. Key West Golf Club is a neighborhood within the city of Key West, Florida in Monroe County, United States. The course is actually located on Stock Island but is within Key West city limits. The residential area is called Key West Golf Club Community and is located on the golf course. It is a public golf course and the community is private slash gated with no association with the golf course. There are dwellings for sale starting at $300,000 and up to about $900,000. There are rentals available for one month minimum. It is located on Stock Island and is the area north of US Route 1. All right, maybe for our Belgium friend out there, maybe we can find a LiDAR course for that one and play that on uh, the golf game on Legend Swing, of course. <clears throat> All right, let's see what else we can play while well, we got one or two minutes left here. Southernmost point by you. The southernmost point buoy is an anchored concrete buoy in Key West, Florida, marking the southernmost point in the continental United States, the lowest latitude land of contiguous North American states. It is 18 feet above sea level. The large painted buoy was established as a tourist attraction in 1983 by the city at the corner of South Street and Whitehead Street. The southernmost point was originally marked with a small sign before the city of Key West erected the now famous concrete buoy in 1983. The concrete buoy has overall withstood several hurricanes and is a gathering place for photographs and tourists. The paint job was damaged by Hurricane Irma in September 2017, but it was refurbished later that year by the original artist. Cuba is roughly 90 miles south of this point in Key West, although this was not originally on the marker, but rather on a smaller sign next to marker. Alright, and then just beyond the airport, let's see if we can find something else. care about reality TV. Ooh, this one might be good if we can get it to play. Nope, not that one. We already did that. That's a golf course. Ernest Hemingway's house. The Ernest Hemingway house was the residence of American writer hmm. Ernest Hemingway in the 1930s. The house is situated on the island of Key West in Florida. Due to its association with Hemingway, the property is the most popular tourist attraction in Key West. It is also famous for its large population of so-called Hemingway cats. 
From 1931 to 1939, the house was inhabited by Hemingway and his wife Pauline Pfeiffer. During his time at the home, Hemingway wrote some of his best received works, including the non-fiction work Green Hills of Africa, the short stories The Snows of Kilimanjaro and the short Happy Life of Francis Makeover, and the novels To Have and Have Not an Islands in the Street. After the Hemingway's divorce and deaths, the house was auctioned off and subsequently converted into a private museum in 1964. On November 24, 1968, it was designated a National Historic Landmark. All right, so we're passing. The naval base of Key, the naval air station of Key West. Naval Air Station Key West is a naval air station and military airport located on Boca Chica Key, four miles east of the central business district of Key West, Florida, United States. NAS Key West is a training facility for air-to-air -air combat fighter aircraft of all military services with favorable flying conditions year-round and nearby aerial ranges. The station and its associated offshore air combat maneuvering ranges are equipped with the P-5 combat training system slash tactical combat training system which tracks and records aerial maneuvers. On a broader scale, NAS Key West's National Security Mission supports operational and readiness requirements for the Department of Defense, Department of Homeland Security, Air National Guard and Army National Guard units, other federal agencies, and allied military forces. The air station is also host to several tenant commands, including Fighter Squadron Composite 111, Strike Fighter Squadron 106 Detachment Key West, the U.S. Army Special Forces Underwater Operations School and Headquarters, Joint Interagency Task Force South. Alright, you know what we're going to do? <clears throat> Our original flight plan was to land on that runway right now. But, because this was such a short trip and a sort, short bush trip, only being two legs, I think what we're going to do is not land here. And we're going to go fly down by where those uh, four markers are over there. Looks like three, but there's actually a double one. And we're going to do a little flyby of Ernest Hemingway's house and go all the way down to the tip and then circle around and we'll land on the other opposite side of the runway since we got a couple of more minutes of daylight maybe we'll find out which one here is Ernest Hemingway's house. It's not that one. It's one of those. So we're going to not even contact ATC on this. We're just going to do one little last sightsee here as we hit the tip of the Florida Keys. So that is the beginning of the legendary US Route 1 West is an island in the Straits of Florida, within the U.S. state of Florida. Together with all parts of the separate islands of Dredges Key, Fleming Key, Sunset Key, and the northern part of Stock Island, it constitutes the city of Key West. The island of Key West is about four miles long and one mile wide, with a total land area of 4.2 square miles it lies at the southernmost end of U.S. Route 1, the longest north-south road in the United States. Key West is about 95 miles north of Cuba at their closest points. It is also 130 miles southwest of Miami by air, about 165 miles by road, and 106 miles north-northeast of Havana. The city of Key West is the county seat of Monroe County, which includes a majority of the Florida Keys and part of the Everglades. The total land area of the city is 5.6 square miles. The official city motto is one human family. 
Key West is the southernmost city in the contiguous United States and the westernmost island connected by highway in the Florida Keys. Duval Street, its main street, is 1.1 miles in length in its 14-block-long crossing from the Gulf of Mexico to the Straits of Florida and the Atlantic Ocean. Key West is the southern terminus of U.S. Route 1. So now we are officially all the way at the lowest point of the continental United States. And we'll spin around, get one last look. come in for that landing. So there's Ernest Hemingway's house. Nice sunset along this trip here. And we're landing a little bit in the dark. <clears throat> that is Route 1 right over there. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do next, but um, this was a little impromptu one. Figured it was short and we were able to do it. We'll get another one going here, hopefully tomorrow, if not... No, we'll get one tomorrow, I think. I'll figure something out. So we're going to land a little bit late on the runway, but that's all right. There's the markers. Alright, we got touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, I do appreciate you tuning in. Stay tuned for another homemade bush trip. As well as um, our Neofly career. So a little update on that. Um, I'm making some headway on the home base that we're going to build. And um, I've actually purchased the uh, hangar already, as well as all the other gadgets that go along with it. The fuel, t or the fuel station, the uh, parking deck, and um, gas station, and all the good stuff there, the office. So that, we have that going for us as well as um, all the other pilots and everything. So should be a good time for the Neo Flight career, Neo Fly career. Just taking a look at the uh, airport here over at KEYW. Very nice little airport overlooking Ernest Hemingway's house again over there. There's the tower situated behind the uh, building. Don't want to run into that plane for sure. But we'll go ahead and park right between these two here. So once again, guys, do appreciate it. Stay tuned for another homemade bush trip. I got a couple ideas in mind. And... Um, We'll get everything going here. So we'll turn our yoke back on. We're going to shut this thing down. And do appreciate it, guys. We'll see you on the next one.